So just because you have an applicator's license doesn't make you safe, doesn't make you follow the rules that you were given. Having an applicator's license just means that you were taught the proper way on how to be safe and how to apply chemicals on people's yards. So just throwing this out there as a quick comment, it's something that's bothered me for a while now because you know there's all there's all this different discussion as to whether you know obviously you're supposed to have an applicator's license in order to apply any kind of um, chemicals on people's yards per the state rules and regulations um, but you know everyone does their own little thing and if you're just spraying a little roundup here or there people seem you know seem to get away with it or whatever and you know you, you do whatever you want to do no one is going to really enforce anything unless you're a big company or you just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and somebody asks you for your applicator's license. But you know, you're supposed to have your applicator's license because it teaches you all about safety and you know the different kinds of applications and all the different chemicals and all that stuff and so on and so on. And every state is a little bit different. And you're supposed to have that just so that you can have it officially on record and so that you have that but just because you have that and did all that doesn't mean that you still know what you're doing it doesn't mean that you have experience you know you're gonna have to actually gain the experience unless you have a mentor or you know you're watching YouTube videos you know with a lot of great guys out there that are um, putting information out there like Johnny Mo just recently put a video out that was very informative on how to properly use different kinds of chemicals and fertilizers and weed control etc um, but of course he said you know you're supposed to have your applicator's license which is absolutely true but I just wanted to add to that by saying just because you have your applicator's license doesn't mean you know what you're doing and it doesn't mean that you're practicing good safety and that you're even going to follow anything that you were trained um, or certified to do so just just remember that and just I'll end on a quick story for an example. I saw a while ago a guy on a four-wheeler uh, with a sleeveless shirt and shorts. He might even have flip-flops on too, who knows, but, or Crocs or something. But he was on a four-wheeler and he had it rigged so that it was spraying fertilizer or, or weed control or something. Some sort of chemical was spraying out of the back of his um, four-wheeler while well, he was just driving around this gigantic yard in a highly a high-end residential neighborhood and I just thought to myself that is so creative one but honestly the bigger issue that I thought of was how is he even doing what you're supposed to do I mean how can you even regulate the amount of spray you're getting in certain areas when it's on the back of a four-wheeler he's just constantly looking around looking over his shoulder and backing up and turning around doing all this stuff yeah okay I get it you know it saves you walking but is it really that big of a deal do you have that many yards now they, this these people have a couple of yards like next to each other or on the same street just like me which is fine but you know, so they go from yard to yard to yard, which, which is fine. So I guess he figured on the four-wheeler he could just bang them out super quick without having to walk back and forth to the truck with a sprayer or, or get a tank on a truck or whatever, whatever the issue is. It sounds like a great idea, but it just seems like it's flawed in so many ways. And he wasn't safe at all because all that stuff spraying off the back of his four-wheeler, a gust of wind comes and that spray is going all over him, all over his face, all over his neck, and his eyes possibly, although he didn't have sunglasses on, that's about the only protection it looked like he had, but his arms weren't covered, his legs weren't covered, I mean, I'm not saying you have to wear a bodysuit, but you kind of are supposed to wear a full bodysuit when you're, when you have a tank sprayer and you're walking around with a hose and you're just spraying a whole yard with highly concentrated highly poisonous dangerous chemicals you're supposed to do that to protect yourself even if it's just for a formality no matter how hot it is that's what you sign up for when you do that kind of work so while I give that guy credit or that company credit for coming up with a genius idea 
that's like something that you should just do around your house, like your own property. I, you, you shouldn't do that commercially or professionally and get paid to do that for X amount of yards that you have. That is just setting a bad example and setting yourself up for some sort of um, injury of some sort. And it's not even giving the customer the best bang for their buck because unless you're just constantly going back and forth and you're you know taking your sweet time trying to back up and oh I missed a spot oh it didn't spray over there oh let me get around this mulch bed again or whatever you're not getting a good a good um, broadcasting spread out application of this chemical that you're putting down that you're applying and, and if you are taking your time doing all that, then why even bother being on a four-wheeler? Are you really that lazy? But so I was like torn when I saw that. Like, wow, that's genius, and that's illegal, really. Um, if you even have an applicator's license, which is even more illegal if you don't. So whatever, just throwing that out there for you guys. Hopefully, it's a lighthearted conversation story. I kind of got a little laugh about it. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, but at the same time, that you know, you just you need to do the right thing and follow the rules. And just because you have an applicator's license doesn't mean you're going to follow the rules that you were given. It doesn't make you an expert at being safe. It doesn't make you. They can't force you to be safe, even though they give you a license. So, talk to you guys later.